Good morning, Mod High School, and welcome to your morning announcements. Boys, it is not too late to get a date for the snowball on January 27th. Seniors who have not paid for their senior hoodies can do so in the office. The visiting trip payment deadline is approaching. The final date for the money is January 5th. Be sure to get your money as soon as possible. For a tardy exemption, you can bring a ream, ream of paper to the office. Good job to our teams over the weekend. Those are your morning announcements. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, and welcome back to the MHS News. We have your announcements and your news for the week. So starting off on Saturday, there is a cheer competition on the 20th. So just a reminder that on February 7th, there will be a three screen character education assembly here in the high school at 2 p.m. And also middle schoolers, if you have not got your paperwork in to go skiing, please do it before January 30th, as that is the date that you will start going skiing. So. On January 21st, there's the Justin Osmond Steak Fireside, which is at 5 p.m. If you want to go to that, you are invited. And for your national news, in case you didn't hear about it, there was a false alarm nuclear attack that happened in Hawaii, where they sent out a missile threat that happened to be a false alarm, luckily for Hawaiians, but for about 30 minutes, it had a lot of people panicking. Also, the Pentagon has been discussing um, possibilities of a nuclear option when it comes to severe cyber attacks and whether or not they should retaliate with nuclear force when it comes to severe cyber attacks. And on top of that, in Russia, there was a region of Russia that hit a record low temperature of negative 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Which... And that was your news for the week. Now on to the weather. Hello, Malad. Hi, and welcome to your weather for this week. Starting off with Monday, there's going to be a slight chance of snow with a high of 32 and a low of 21. And for Tuesday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 34 and a low of 22. And for Wednesday, there's going to be a slight chance of snow with a high of 37 and a low of 26. And for Thursday, there's going to be a slight chance of snow with a high of 33 and a low of 16. Now is your weather for this week. Now on to Brett Garamendi and Jacob Reese with the sports. Welcome to the Malad Sports Center. Our high school sports had an eventful week last week. To start off, wrestling was at Wendell this weekend. We had several people place. Reagan Smith took second in his weight class. Junior Sua took third. Darren Tapp fourth. Dylan Hunt fifth. The wrestlers will be heading up to Aberdeen Thursday the 18th for a duel. And then Friday and Saturday they will be having the Aberdeen tournament. Girls basketball played here against Westside. They beat them 54 to 25. They also went up to West Jefferson on Tuesday and they lost 51 to 35. Boys basketball played here on Saturday against Bear Lake. They lost 55 to 44. They play again Wednesday the 17th against Aberdeen and Friday the 19th with American Falls. And that does it for the local sports. On to Brett for Nationals. In national sports, the NBA season has been going on for a few months now, and the competition is really beginning to pick up. In the last few days, the Cleveland Cavaliers played the Golden State Warriors, in which they lost 98-108, to a dominating win by the Warriors. Kawhi Leonard of the San Antonio Spurs has been dealing with a quadriceps injury all year, and he was just announced out indefinitely from that injury. On to the NFL. This last weekend had the divisional round of the playoffs, in which many teams were fighting to get to the conference championship. A thriller to watch was the Minnesota Vikings and New Orleans Saints game, in which the Vikings scored a game-winning touchdown with zero seconds left on the clock to win the game 29-24. to In other news, Tom Brady, the quarterback of the New England Patriots, jammed his throwing hand in practice yesterday. With a feisty Jaguars defense coming to Foxborough, nicknamed Saxonville, this could prove to be a difficult task for the Patriots. With the divisional round ending last weekend, the AFC and NFC Championship games will be played this weekend. Jacksonville travels to Foxborough to play the New England Patriots, while Minnesota travels to Philadelphia to play the Philadelphia Eagles. It should be an exciting weekend of football. Thank you for tuning in to MHS Broadcasting. See you next time.